Okay, I think it's gonna work. Welcome back, collective. Welcome to Gemini and Langate Part 88. My name is Jenna, and welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys, my guys, by using divination. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay. Um, I don't have my microphone in, but you know, I'm sure it'll work fine. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work fine. I didn't have a microphone for like the majority of my videos, so. Um, I talk pretty loud, so I hope it's okay. Ooh, justice is coming out right away. Anyways, let's see here, collective. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not every video, not every reading, not every message is going to be yours, okay? You got to just use your best discretion when you're watching tarot cards on um, YouTube, okay? Um, just remember... This could either be about you or someone that is like directly or indirectly involved with your energy. Um, you got to place it where you need to, but don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Um, so like, for instance, if I say we all have like a familiar story, not a similar story. So if I say lovers, okay, if or a couple. All right, if you know you're not in a relationship right now, then it's maybe not about you, right? It could be about somebody else, another couple in your energy. But you got to trust your intuition. Remember, energy could be past, present, and future. A, mas a male could have a feminine energy and a masculine could have a, fem or a female could have a masculine energy. You just, I trust your intuition, so just trust your own, okay? Don't let anyone tell you that your intuition is wrong, collective. All right? I work with angels on this channel, and this uh, week we've been working with Angel Nalcal, 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 Nalcal. I think I'm saying it right, Nalcal. He is the angel for the poets, the writers, the people that are artistic, my artists out there. Um, also, the soul guardian angels of people that are born in the beginning of July, Cancers. He is an angel to help with your success, okay? If you have a dream, like, if you've been wanting, if you want to, if you guys have been planning to do something, do it. This is the time to do it. Follow your heart desire. Follow your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something, okay? Because you can. Believe in yourself, and that's all you need. If you guys want to go back to school, if you guys are wanting to get your degree or you guys are in school right now, almost done with your degree, go do big things. That's what we're here to do, Collective, is to do big things, okay? Go big or go home type of energy. So I have faith in you. I have faith in the Collective. People that are on the upright. I'm talking about the people that have been, you know, kicked, pushed, um, gossiped about, lied about, terrorized, stalked. People that always told you, like, the people that are like, you know what, you can't do it since you were little. No, I'm talking to that, that collective. The collective. People that doubt people. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? It's because you have a light. You're meant to do big things on this earth. And so God puts these challenges and these people in your life so you could rise above stronger. Okay? Be that person. Someone's uh, first house, Aries, something be going on um, this month. And Aries, um, something about your personality or someone's in their ego. Someone could be trying to attack your personality or who you are. Um, this could be an Aries or a Gemini or I'm talking to a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart. This is a house of communication, information, intelligence. Okay. The first house to the third house. Fourth house, cancer energy right there. This could do with family ties or family relationships. Third house again. Look at 336. 336. That's Mercury energy right here. I'm talking to someone that is smart, intelligent, witty, quick. You're highly intelligent. And this has someone pissed off that you're smart, that you're all knowing. That you know information. I got three, six, seven. This could do uh, Libra. This could be about your relationships or there's a Libra involved. Or I'm speaking to a Libra, a Vertigo, a Gemini, a Cancer. I don't know what happened to my green dice. <laughs> I don't know what my son did with it. 
Um, let me roll it one more time. What else? Archangel Malachi. Five, five, five. There it is. Big change, baby. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo energy. What's up, my Leos? Okay. You could definitely have Leo in your chart. This all has to do with your creativity, your what you do for pleasure, your hobbies, your dreams, your self-expression. Someone is trying to attack it. There's a lot of big change here. 555 five, five, though. And someone's um look at turning your back on the bullshit. Turning your back on the bullshit. This is why Archangel Nakal is out because I am talking to someone that is creative. I am talking to the collective that are the poets and the writers and the, the painters and the whatever it is, you got this creative spark. And look, the 10th house Capricorn energy, you're very disciplined when you do it. You're making something that you love doing into a career. Keep doing it. Keep Or if you guys haven't started doing that, do it. You will be successful. Nothing will stand in your way. The only person that can stand in your way is you. So, believe in yourself. He's one of the nine angels of heaven. Malakal, I am ready to evoke... Let's get some rose quartz. My student gave me this. He, he pays special attention to the arrival of beneficial events in your life to succeed in new existence. You will need to show concentration, okay? Again, if you're born from July 2nd to the 6th, this is your guardian angel, the only God. This angel pays special attention to arrival of benefits and events in your life to succeed fully and blossom in new existence and awaits you. So Archangel Nalcal, Please um, assist me in this reading. What uh, beneficial events await the collective? Tell me what needs to blossom or what is going to blossom into a new existence that awaits them. Make sure they are able to succeed and fulfill and not failure for progression in their life. To overcome difficulties, demonstrate practical minus and to remind them as well me as the theoretical spears for them to take action as well me give us the power of your divine guidance to promote the arrival of luck thanks to you hopefully good luck will be knocking on our door and we will behave accordingly actively and productively and also positively Please suggest in this reading to take any, I'm willing to take any possible suggestions to adapt um, so that the collective and as, as well myself can adapt in life um, and to it, it, uh, succeed and excel in our personalities so others can see um, not only um, that we could be the best examples for others so that they could succeed, the best way to succeed. Please let the first card that I draw on this reading be the answer or the guidance of this reading so we can avoid stressful situations and oppose anything that comes against our good fortune and good luck. This is the Platinum Saturn. Here it is. Saturn energy right here. Associated with focus, precision, dedication, but also limitation and restrictions. Influence a person to long-term planning foresight. Let the collective, whatever they want plans, whatever dreams that they have, give them the, the energy of Saturn so they can be disciplined and patient, precise and dedication. Also, secondary planet. There it is. Leo, come on through. Look at Saturn and Leo, the fifth house. Come on. He is here. Angel Nalcal is in the house representing ego, personality and power. Look. The first house right here represents the ego, personality, power, and leadership qualities. The fifth house. Someone is trying to attack your, your ego, your personal power, your leadership. Purple. 
please let the answer be for karmic ties. What waits? I'm never, let me do it this way. I'm just going to hop right into the reading. Let's just hop right into the reading. No pre-shuffle today. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you, what's this reading going to be about? What answers do you want us? These cards could be a little crazy. Pop the question. Someone pop the question to Karmic Ties. Well, that's not good. Letting go, moving on. What do I need to know? What do I need to know? Just for a warning, I have a son. He might get up. I don't know. Left you hanging, no closure, no contact, left on red. Hold on, let me ask. Is my son gonna wake up during this reading? I have a feeling he will. Is my son gonna wake up during this reading? Is my son gonna wake up during this reading? Okay, well, can I have Kimmy? My poor baby, he needs his rest. He got sick, I got sick. I, I couldn't do a video yesterday. We both got sick. We had too much fun for my daughter's birthday. So someone must, someone's leaving someone hanging here. No closure, no contact, left on red. Someone's being left ghosted, essentially. This could have been you. This could be someone else in your energy. I'm gonna do the reading so different today. What's this left on red? Someone's leaving someone hanging. What is this? Archangel Nocturne. I'm ready to channel. What is this? The moon. Someone's keeping you hit. Someone's not letting you know this. Is this someone else? I don't feel like this is you, collective. Maybe this is your... Is this past energy? This is like... This is someone else in your guys' energy, huh? This could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer. Regardless, someone is leaving someone, like, they're leaving them hangings with no closure, no contact, left on red. And they're not letting you know about this because maybe this person wants to come towards you. Maybe someone is, like, ghosting someone else to come towards you because there's, there's, like, something hidden about this. It's not seen. What's this moon energy? What's this? Why is this hidden? The Empress in reverse. Yeah, someone is leaving a not so divine feminine on red. This is someone that's very insecure, very judgmental. They can't, they're not about growth. They're not about, um, this is like a copycat, it feels like. This is someone that tries to be like a divine feminine, but they're not. Are They could be leaving. Is this divine? Is this empress being left on left hanging? Taurus, Scorpio energy. So right now, someone in your guys' energy, an empress in reverse, someone that's very jealous, very insecure, this could be a mother. She could be pregnant, which is kind of shitty. I mean, she's being there. She's being left on. She's being like ghosted. And it's something that you're not seeing here. For some reason, someone is not letting you know that, which is not kind of cool. Um, this could be um, leaving her really stressed out, paranoid. Someone needs to close up. That's the thing. If someone wants to come towards you, I hope this is not. that's not the case, but... Someone wants to come towards you guys. They need to close out the cycle with this Empress in Reverse. No strings attached. Never mind. No strings attached in Reverse. Whew. Someone could have got pregnant here. And now someone doesn't want no strings attached. They're trying to block a no strings attached here. Someone could have got pregnant with no strings attached here. This is hidden from you. 
<laughs> what is this? Maybe um, someone doesn't want no strings attached. What is this? No strings attached. In reverse, someone wants to block it. No strings attached. The hierophant. These people could be married. This is making no sense. Ooh, yeah. Someone's trying to block a uh, the hierophant. Someone wants to come in and give you a high level commitment. A marriage, maybe. What is that? Someone knows. Okay, with no strings attached in reverse, is like someone doesn't want just to be a fling with you. Someone wants a high level commitment with you. Someone wants to even maybe marry you. This is like someone wants to be really Taurus energy again, Hierophant. And he's, it, this is what's crazy about this is that this person is leaving an Empress in reverse. I hate to say it, she, for some of you guys, she could be pregnant. And he's doing, someone's doing this all hidden from you. Like you don't know. You don't know about this or it's not seen or it's not publicly announced or maybe it is and it's not I don't know but someone with no strings attached in reverse and the higher friend someone wants a high level commitment here and it's not with this this Empress in reverse it's not what's this higher fit someone clearly sees they made a bad choice about a wish fulfillment Oh, now someone's cutting the grass. I hope you guys can hear me. Hope you guys can hear me. Sorry about that. I'll speak louder. Someone, is this a false pregnancy? Is this like, what is going on here? Is this person pregnant? Is this Empress in reverse pregnant? Is she trying to say she's pregnant? Okay, I see. So there's a karmic here. And not so divine that a female. Very jealous, very envious. She holds a lot of secrets. The secret is, is that she knows someone doesn't want and no strings attached like they like someone wants a high level commitment with you so they made a clear but this is she's not pregnant with the nine of cups in reverse i think someone is knowing now that this person isn't pregnant look at pregnancy fake news dna this is a fake pregnancy with someone that's not a queen bee so in reverse someone that's not secure confident someone that's not a boss bitch not career orientated oh my goodness family in reverse for the divine masculine damn so someone either like this is someone you're related to they're trying to um i got this in my reading last time Okay, for some of you guys, if you guys wanted to know why you were left hanging, no closure, no contact, left on red, um, and someone did this in a very secretive way, like they didn't let you know, is because some of you guys, um, you were with a not so divine masculine, okay, that um, was maybe with some, a family member of yours, and they actually used a fake pregnancy here to keep... Uh, uh, hi, uh, a marriage happening here no strings attached for some of you guys this is future energy or this is someone's leaving a not so divine feminine out in the cold this is hidden from you why because this person doesn't want to have this person doesn't want to have this no like it's not going to be a relationship between you guys. It's not going to be a fling. He wants a high level commitment. And he's clearly seeing that this person isn't pregnant. I feel like she's just uh, made a, like, there could even been a decision made on a fake pregnancy here.
Hopefully you guys can hear me. <sighs> What's this fake pregnancy? Fake news. Fake news, pregnancy. Nine of Pentacles. Someone's just trying to do this for status. The chariot in reverse. They're not going to try. So the whole reason why is this empress in reverse is doing this is because they're trying to do something for status. They want an upgrade. They want money. They want to be important. This person doesn't want to work. They're not going to be successful in this attempt to try to keep someone from coming in and giving you a marriage. I really feel like that's the whole reason what it is. workplace affair what is going on? someone could have been I'm just gonna throw I'm doing this all backwards today but let's just do this let's get some regular let's get some card in the going Archangel what else is the message here what's going on right now in the collective's energy besides Someone's trying to use a fake pregnancy to keep someone coming in and giving you a marriage, basically. Or keeping someone stuck to a marriage. Queen of Clubs. Someone that's very jealous, envious. Or... Someone's very envious of you. Someone was really envious of you guys. You think I would know these by now by heart. You could be a brunette woman who's very well behaved and very spiritual. You love to be a service. Warm, tender, and sympathetic nature. Most men who love to marry. Yeah, so you could have dark hair. Most women are jealous of her and see her as a dangerous rival. A sincere friend or a dangerous rival. Who is this woman? So is this woman a dangerous rival or a sincere friend to you guys? Okay, yes or no. Is this queen of clubs... Um, Right now, is this Queen of Clubs a uh, sincere friend? Yes or no? Is this Burnett a sincere friend? Page of Cups. Oops. You might know this person since childhood. A child? She be younger than you? It's a yes, I'm pretty sure. Page of Cups. So you have someone younger than you that is actually considers you a sincere friend. Fucking... It's like, good news here from someone younger than you. Page of Cups, Innocence. Is this my collective, this Page of Cups? So you have a younger friend, this is a female. She could just be, you know, there's an age difference between you guys. And Page of Cups tells me that she's very, very young, actually. She could be, I don't know, 18, even maybe 16. This is someone that really adores you. This is someone, like, I feel like looks up to you. Is there a dangerous rival here? 
Let me know. Is this Queen of uh, Clubs a dangerous rival? Yes or no? She could be bringing you a message of something of some sort. Two of Pentacles. About. juggling about managing finances what's this page of cups to this this uh two pentacles the lovers okay gemini energy someone really has a lot of love for you this lovers is not giving off like a relationship. This is someone younger than you, huh? Is this someone, this queen of clubs, someone younger than the collective? She has a lot of love for you. And she's going to bring you a message about a lover? To balance things out. This is crazy. So expect whoever this person is, she is younger than you, okay? She's of the innocence. This could be a child. She could be like 16, 18. She's going to bring you a message from a lover to help you bring some type of balance, to help you balance things out, to manage something here. So a side note, just to let you guys know, there was a fake pregnancy. You got, okay, so that's something else I feel like. Whatever that fake pregnancy thing is going on for someone, that's something else. That's something you guys don't need to worry about with the moon. That's something you can't see. I feel like this is more important. We should focus more on this energy because is this a message coming from a younger female from a lover? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Whoever this queen of clubs is, she's very attractive. She's very, like I said, she really adores you. I feel like she looks up to you. So you have to know who this individual is. She is like, maybe like a mentor. Like maybe you mentor her in life. And she's going to bring you a two of pentacles. The message is about a two of pentacles from someone that, a lover's, that could possibly be your soulmate. Or she's delivering messages to him. Take it how it resonates. There's like... The lovers, Gemini. What's influencing this energy? What's influencing this energy that wanted to come out? The four of clubs, the four of wands. Oh, there's something like about this. Like it gives off like a, I don't know, I hate to say it, but a twin flame, a soulmate of yours. indicates an expressible, enjoyable, peaceful period. Your days will be long, sunny, uneventful, unusually happy for the for a sign of perfect honeymoon for a newly married couple. Will it be an unusual happy day for you? Yes or no? Will this be an unusual happy day for my collective? The Nine of Pentacles. There is a mentor relationship here. Your place like in nine of pentacles to the four, of, or I'm putting that back for a second. Someone wants to help. You're like, okay, to answer the question, yes. You're single, you're codependent, you're 
financially okay. Your have a dove right there is peace. So yeah, you are gonna have unusual, unhappy like days here. What's it? What's this Nine of Pentacles? And I feel like you're mentoring a younger individual that's gonna bring you justice in reverse. Yeah, someone's trying to do something unfair, illegal, karmic justice to your Nine of Pentacles, and because they don't want to put something to rest. So you're going to get a message from a, a soulmate here, but it's crazy. This lover is sending a message with someone innocent, a child, someone younger. A, she has dark hair. And it's all because of this injustice. Someone was causing a lot of injustice to your nine of pentacles, to your like status, to your money, to your like how you support yourself. And there was like someone that feels like they're unfair. This person can't rest. Some like someone's can't put something to rest to cause unfairness to your nine of pentacles. So you have a yeah, this is crazy. So I don't know you I maybe you guys does the collective know this queen of clubs this is actually a sincere friend this is a, a, a someone that comes with a sincere message you're gonna be very happy to hear from this person but it's like they're not coming to you directly they're they're using um, a child to like communicate between the two of you guys because what's influencing this is that someone here is getting karmic justice they feel like karma or they were just trying to put a lot of unfairness to your money to your status they can't rest at night this person feels very restless about this what's this um what's this queen of clubs over here what's this queen of clubs a funeral heartbreak there's an ending here heartbreak innocence or is the collective going to be attending a funeral or is this an ending there's like an ending to your heartbreak someone wants to end being heartbroken over you or you, that's going to help you Whatever this message is, this is a message from a child, someone younger than you. They're going to deliver this message to help you bring some type of stability. Or now that you're stable, and it's from a lover. This person want, is going to be the ending of heartbreak here. And what's, in, what's driving this person is this injustice, this unfairness to your nine of pentacles. Someone trying to do something either illegal unfair unjust bad debt unemployment drinking toxic lifestyle unemployed it's like Someone wants you to go into a bad credit, debt, wants you to be unemployed. And whoever is doing this is drinking a lot. Or they think that you're drinking a lot. Is someone drinking? So whoever wants to bring this unfairness, this person could be drinking a lot. Yeah, see, look at your nine of... Here you are, self-sufficient. You got some type of, like... Going something going on money wise, 
Someone wants to cause something to you so you could be unemployed, no money. This person is very toxic, lives a lot toxic lifestyle or they just drink a lot. They're feeling uneasy about the injustice that was done to you. This person wants to end the heartbreak here. They want to end this, this feeling of restlessness, this feeling of, of what they did to you. So they're going to be, there's like these messages between you and someone that's innocent and this lover, this soulmate. I hope that's making sense. So if you know this is your reading, okay, say if you have someone in your social group, someone at your job, someone in your networking, a female with long black hair that's younger than you, she's actually delivering messages to a soulmate, telling them that you're stable, that you're actually a... Uh, managing life pretty well okay and this person knows there's an ending to you being heartbroken like you're not heartbroken anymore and what's influencing this messenger between this younger individual in your energy like i don't feel like this is this queen of clubs means anything bad i feel like she's impressionable that she's um you know, I don't know if she was sent into your energy to see how you were doing, but I don't see that something as bad because whoever this younger individual is, she really adores you. She looks up to you. It's like you are the woman that she wants to be when she's older. That That's the only way I could explain the energy for you guys to resonate to this to this reading. There's an age difference between you and this younger woman. And I you don't I feel like you don't know this, but she's delivering messages to your soulmate, to someone that really has a lot of emotions for you. Uh maybe it's to her lover? Is this like she's delivering messages to her lover about the collective? Is this lover is the collective? Or is this lovers this queen and clubs? Mm -mm. No, it's not. It's what's just go crazy about this. This is like a lover, a soulmate, and he knows you're done being heartbroken. And whoever this lover is, he's drinking a lot. He feels very restless. Because he knows about some type of unfairness, something illegal, something unjust when it comes to your Nine of Pentacles. Because this person knows now that you're actually pretty quite stable. That you have this, you're very balanced right now. With the Two of Pentacles and the Lovers, look at that. You're beautifully balanced. You have this duality about you. You're very, you're adaptable because of this duality in your life. And you have, yeah, that is so crazy. So that's the only way I could explain this energy of what's going on here. So if you know someone younger than you, whoever it is, they're relaying messages to a, someone that actually is your soulmate. What is something we can't see here? The four, four, four. There could definitely be a cancer involved here. And it's so strange because it's like, I don't know why this person, I feel like he's starting to get the picture here. Like this is someone that's really understanding that you're not toxic, that you're not just out partying and drinking It means that you voice your concern and try to work them out. It's a positive sign because it's the only way to make progress. The four of hearts reminds us to love is not guaranteed forever. It requires, yeah, are you going to have an argument with a partner? I feel like this person wants to end an argument between them. Is the collective going to continue this argument with this lover, yes or no? The will of fortune. I'm taking that as a no-no. 
Luck is on your side. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, someone is has enough here. They don't want to fight with you anymore. Three of Pentacles. This person is... Um, you could have actually worked with this person. There could have been this like a co-worker. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is like a work environment. This person has had enough of this no communication, not collaborating with you. They're dropping their burdens because you're on top of the wheel here. This person doesn't want to fight with you anymore. This person actually wants to work something out here because there's no collaboration here. I hope that's making sense. A workplace affair. Oof. Happily single in reverse. Doing you. Dating. Stress free. Setting goals. Career. I miss you in reverse. This person really. This is so weird. This comes out my readings sometimes. So. With the Three of Pentacles and the Workplace Affairs. So basically, someone is that has a, there, someone's having enough of a workplace affair. This person is pretending to be single, but they're not. This is not your workplace affair. This is like another, like, I don't know. This is a place that you used to work at. Is this worker place a fair my collectives? This has to be at your job. This is so crazy. So you actually work with someone that actually has a lot of feelings for you guys. I can't explain this. This is crazy. So wherever you work, okay, whatever your job is requiring, okay, there is someone that you work with that is like younger than you okay for example okay this is like what's coming in my head okay say that you guys work in an office place okay and you met someone like who's 18 or maybe even 16 and they just you know working there you guys got close you guys are you know this person really looks up to you they see they're actually a really sincere friend there's a male co-worker there okay you guys all work together or whatever but there is some reason some force another energy that didn't have that younger person and that male work with you there's some reason why now either those two could have been in a workplace affair or like another person like you didn't know about it because whoever this male is he was hiding the fact that he wasn't single that he was actually in an affair with another person at that job. It could have been your boss. It could have been upper management here with the two of pentacles. It could have been a manager. Um, and this person um, didn't tell you how, or they want, they can't tell you how much they miss you. So like, do you know, does that make sense? So, okay, like wherever you're working at, think of it this way, wherever you're working at, there is a younger female at that job that you must get along with. That this person must really like you. You guys could like take lunch together. You guys, she really looks up to you, okay? She's delivering messages to a person that actually likes you at that work, but he's in an affair with someone else at that job. I don't feel like it's his queen of clubs. Is he having a workplace affair with this younger person? This is so crazy. This has to do with work. Does this have to be, uh, is this work? Is he having a affair with this younger person? So if even some of you guys like this person, okay, so say you and this male, like she considers you guys, they're like mom and dad, like workplace mom and dad. I don't know. Maybe for some of you guys are having a workplace affair with this guy, but I don't feel like it is. I feel like he's been hiding the fact that he's not single and that he's actually in an affair with someone else at your job. And this is the reason why he couldn't tell you how much he misses you. But he's actually has enough. He's dropped. He, he's like enough. He's enough. Enough is enough. He's saying um, he's not collaborating with this person anymore. And it's because... Um, 
the luck is because you're on top of the wheel. You, it's like you're, you're getting your good karma. This person is knows something here about someone doing something unfair to your status, to your money. And there's that younger person is actually letting that uh, that masculine energy know that you're pretty balanced, like you're pretty stable. He's starting to, I feel like, get the picture here of what's going on. Okay? He's starting to see that the only reason why uh, whoever, this is like Libra energy, like someone is just trying to make you, like maybe get you fired at your job so you don't get in a relationship with this guy. For some of you guys, yeah. And this person, they're toxic. Like, these are people maybe you went out and had drinks with. Or these are people that, like, you know that drink. Or this male, he drinks a lot on the weekends. He wants to end the heartbreak he has in his heart. And he's done. He has enough with this workplace affair. He's, like, over it. Over, over, over it. In the meantime, he's getting messages from this younger girl saying... Maybe he's like, maybe go talk to the collective for me. He feels like he can't rest here because he knows about this unfairness, that, this injustice that he did to you. Like, you could have been bullied at your job. No lie. You're very bullied at your job. If it's not happening now, it happened in the past. And the reason why you were bullied at your job is because there is a, a you you were working with a soulmate, and that soulmate was in a in a workplace affair with someone else. And whoever this younger person is, she's like the mediator. She's like the messenger between you two. The like he's been keeping tabs on you because of this Queen of Clubs. That's how he's keeping tabs on you. That's how he's been keeping up with you. Like, say if you even left this workplace, the, how he's been keeping in touch with you is because you're still in touch with this, this sincere friend. And what's hidden is that this person really misses you. Now he knows that you have a will of fortune, that you have success. He's ha he's not he's not collaborating with whoever he's having an affair with anymore. He's like done. He's like telling that person no more. I don't want to work with you anymore. He could even be leaving that job now. What is something my collective needs to be aware of about this situation? Oh yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Your success. Someone's trying to attack your success here. Someone could even put themselves in a workplace affair just to make sure that I don't know what this is. It's like this is when someone, this could be your guys' who is this person that's attacking the collective's work at this job? Who's this person that's attacking the collective? Holy Spirit, Archangel, the moon. Who's this person that's attacking the collective? A page of Pentacles in reverse. Strength in reverse to King of Pentacles. This is a King of Pentacles. A Taurus. A good father figure. He feels like a coward. Oh, yes. Now, he doesn't have to be a Taurus. He could just be considered like a father figure, even to this Queen of Clubs over here. Someone that works really hard and he feels like such a coward, such a coward for attacking your page of pentacles. There's like a student relationship here, like a student teacher mentor relationship here. He feels like he could have been a better mentor to you. Like this person must have been someone like you were supposed to be mentoring you at a job and he was attacking your eight of, eight of pentacles, your eight of diamonds. Oh, he feels so bad about it. <sighs> like, it's hard to even breathe.
like unpredictable, right? Any insight about what's coming? Oh, this guy's getting many insight about what's coming. <sighs> He's got the picture now about what he did, about how he treated you. And now he knows you're doing good because of this sincere friend of yours. Yeah, a fairy tale, phony trickster. He was under an illusion here. Now I told you, guilt embarrassed the wrong way. Ooh, this man feels a lot of shame. A lot of shame here. Whew. About a love child? Someone could even got pregnant? What this is? Is there a child here? Is this person using a child? What's this love child? pentacles that he's not committed to king of wands oh this is someone else coming on your energy this is something else collective okay nine okay so you have two kings here you got one on the upright someone that used to work with someone that actually you, you had two kings you had a king of wands a lustful playboy he actually had a love child here that he's very embarrassed very ashamed of okay this person was very non-committed to you and he's very non-committed to a love child as well. This person is very stressed out and living in a nightmare. As for this other king who was supposed to be your mentor, who's supposed to teach you, help you reach your goals, he feels like a coward. He feels like a coward here because he was in this workplace affair. He was in this thing. So you had two kings in your life, dude. These could have been soulmates, twin flames, whatever it was. This one's on the upright, but he feels very cowardly about, I feel like he bullied you, bullied you at your job. Like this is a king that really bullied you at your job. Well, you had another king that could have left you on red. This is that king of the one that left you hanging. He left you hanging because of this pregnancy. It could have been fake for some of you guys. It could have been real, whatever it was. They're both ashamed. They're both guilty. They both feel bad about this. Because, like, these two kings, this king of wands and this king of pentacles were too unpredictable in your energy. They just were, they didn't want to commit to you. One was, didn't want to commit to you because he was in a, a workplace affair. And whoever this Queen of Clubs is to you guys, she's younger and she's relaying the message. It's so crazy. He's been keeping tabs on you because of this Queen of Clubs. It's like not bad. I don't feel like he's stalking you. I just feel like he can't tell you that he misses you. But he's done. He's, has, he's having enough with this collaboration. He has enough with this job, this workplace affair. He's over it. And he... Oh, these two are so stressed out about, I mean, these two, this King of Wands and King, King, King of Pentacles cannot rest. They cannot rest about causing you so much injustice for you just to be single, happy, co like independent. So you got one King of Wands, he could be a fire sign, he's going, he's going through all this crazy shit with this fake pregnancy, pregnancy, whatever it is. Then you have another King of Pentacles that was in a workplace affair. And it's so crazy. They use children. Like this King of Wands, this could be his own child. Like say you have teenagers, okay? And like his teenager hangs out with your teenager. And so she goes home and he's like, how's the collective? And they're like, oh, they're doing good, blah, 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 blah. This King of Pentacles is like, whoever this Queen of Clubs is, is like, 
she could it, it's like uh um they could have worked together or it could be like a stepfather or something and she goes over to your house or i feel like you're more closer does that make sense these two kings are using the innocence someone young to keep tabs on you it's weird but it's it's what's coming out <laughs> it's weird for again for some of you guys it's just like your guys's kids hang out so he could keep, he knows what's going on or it's just the fact that i get this so strongly whoever you guys work with you have someone younger than you um she could be close to you and close to that man whatever this job is at okay and there's like a teacher mentor relationship here and it's like you like you guys could both be mentors okay here's an example another example say you guys work at a company and um someone is there as an apprentice okay and um you and this masculine energy are both teaching this young woman how to master their craft master their work be a better whatever the way that masculine energy keeps tabs on you is through this person she relays the messages to him saying oh well no the collective is doing good the collective is all right. You know, she's a good mentor. She teaches me things and this and that. You didn't know, though, that that masculine energy is having a workplace affair with someone else at that job. He's very embarrassed about it. Now you gotta go to the king of wands. This person is very low vibrational. Whoever this king of wands is, he's not high vibrational. He's He could be a playboy. He needs, he's not, he needs working. Okay, he needs working. Um... He's not committed to a love child here situation and they're both living in a nightmare. They're both living in a nightmare thinking about you all the time. And they use children to get like messages across. That's so wild. What is a gift? What's the what's a blessing here? These, these two men really, Ten of Diamonds, yeah, your success, your creative, your an inheritance, a windfall of money. Like, you got, your blessing is your divine birthright. You have something here that's, like, anchored in. I'm hearing someone could have been attacking your windfall of money. Knowing the fact that, ooh, someone knew someone liked you at a job. Again, it's not this younger woman. It's someone else. She doesn't want to come out. She's actually really hiding her energy. She's a karmic, though. The other king of wands in reverse that uh, he could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or um, an Aries. He's dealing with a pregnancy or some bullshit. It represents, a diamond represents a journey to which you'll gain riches and wealth. This card announces you, you will be forced to leave your zone of comfort. Change will not be pleasant, but successful, resulting material, spiritual wealth. Ten of diamonds will bring you diamonds. That's your blessing is God is bringing you diamonds. I love that. Look at nine to ten. Uh, yeah your blessing is that god you had to get out of your comfort zone or you 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 like whatever this is you got out of your comfort zone and now you're gonna have a lifetime of riches here and this leaves someone very like you're doing this in secret you're not letting people know about this what's this moon energy what's this moon Oh, you could definitely be a divine feminine. You have this moon energy about you. The emperor, woo! You are in your power. You're not even coming out as the empress collective. You're, woo -hoo -hoo. You're coming out strong. Knight of swords. Someone is trying to attack this in their ego. Someone is trying to do something in secret here. Yeah.
Someone is like paranoid. Look at this. I, this moon energy is not bad. The moon, the emperor. This is you, collective. That's you, male or female. You're coming out strong. You're in your power. You are stable. And someone was very impulsive to try to attack this. Someone's trying to attack a divine feminine in their emperor energy. That ain't going to work out for them. That ain't going to work out for them at all. Why? Because this is yours. God's giving you diamonds. That belongs to you. Like, ain't no fucking around with that. Losing sleep. Worried playing events. Thinking about you. Someone couldn't make you lose sleep here. I told you, someone wanted to cause a lot of fear and anxiety here. Under pressure. Yeah, blocked. Someone couldn't make you feel under pressure. Why? Because you're moving on, letting go, loving you, and you're free. Free to be in your power. You called your power back, and now someone knows that they can't make you feel like you're under pressure. Someone knows that you're not losing sleep over this bullshit of trying to attack your ten of pentacles, your diamonds that are already given to you. Someone knows that they can't do it. Why? Because you are free to do what you want in this emperor energy. What's going to be the next step? And you have a king of pentacles and a king of wands in reverse that are all feeling shame and guilt about something. Woo, you got the king of ooh, swords to the eight of clubs. If I'm not mistaken, someone is ruthless here. Hold on. I want to make sure, though. Five, eight of clubs represents casual relationship. It depends on, on your point of view, whether it's good or bad. Is a good omen for love adventure? Is a bad omen for marriage? Is good for sex? Is bad for passion? More generally, eight of clubs means compromise of love. Time for a little love adventure here, collective, with a king. But hold on. Let me read the King of Spades because I don't think the King of Spades is something good. King of Spades here. Yeah, King of Spades indicates a man of bad faith. He is a predator who seeks to use you for his own ends. Bad man, duh. Somewhat, so the next step is someone here that doesn't mean wow wants to have a casual relationship with you and possibly have unprotected sex with you. You're, what's this eight of the truth? Judgment. This person cannot block the truth here. Don't want to face judgment. Oh. This is that person that, that king, is this king of pentacles having a workplace affair with the king of spades? There it is. That's that workplace affair. So this king of pentacles was having a workplace affair with, even though it's a king of spades. She's coming out as the king of spades. She is in, ooh, she is ruthless. She's very ruthless. This person feels like they can't block the truth. Cause, and it's like, this person feels like uh, uh, offended that the truth is going to be spoken up here. This could be a legal case going on too here. The truth is out. Someone can't block the truth and they can't, they don't want to face judgment. This person is trying to cope. Um, no one's bumping head. You're not even bumping heads with this person. Cope, bumping heads in reverse. They can't bump heads with you no more and they can't cope with that. Block, spam, calls. This person is blocked. They can't even pretend to be busy. 
fake, yeah, they backstab, yeah, look at your spiritual gifts. This person can't block your spiritual gifts anymore. This person can't even, this person is like trying to pretend to be busy. People don't even want to bump heads with this person anymore. They can't, they're trying to cope. This person is a cheater, deception, mind game, love bombing, pain, cheating, backstabber. And they can't block the truth here. And oh, this person does not want to answer to judgment. It's like they don't want to answer to the truth. That's crazy. Look at this person is offended that the truth is coming out and they don't even want to answer to it. This person can't block your spiritual gifts. Ooh. What's this? What's this? Uh, this truth. The truth about uh, a confrontation. The truth about this person fighting with you. person uh spam calls right look the truth <laughs> the truth this person i don't know can't the truth about a fight a competition a secret they gotta let it go about a comp the truth about someone causing a lot of confrontation and letting you go letting go finances letting you go page of swords communication I, whatever this truth is, it has to do with someone trying to fight with you, compete with you. This person is letting, has to let go of some type of fighting because of this communication here. News dilemma. Pop the question in reverse. Someone can't get you ghosted. Secrets are revealed. What's this judgment? Someone's not has nothing to celebrate. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This person is losing. They're not a master. They're they they're not four five of cups. No, like they kind of sorrow regret. So, this person cannot block the truth about this competition, this confrontation, about you being let go. And there's some type of new communication about this coming in. Secrets be revealed about someone. The whole reason why this person did this was so no one could pop the question to you, so you could be ghosted. I'm telling you right now, okay? This is what's crazy about this. Take it for how it resonates for you. So you got, okay, listen, all right. You got two kings. You got a king of pentacles and a king of wands in reverse. How these, pe how these men keep tabs on you is this child, it's this innocence. Uh, a woman, a young woman with long black hair, whatever. It could be their own children. It could be it's someone younger than you. Okay. They're getting they're getting communication about you. These are lovers. These are people that want to be in a relationship with you. However, this King of Wands in reverse, I'd be very careful about him. He's dealing with a pregnancy that a love child that he doesn't want to commit to. This King of uh, Pentacles, I would be aware about him because he's a coward. He's a coward. He bullied you somehow. I know he did. He did this injustice when it comes to you working. This lack of communication and collaboration. He has enough of it. He. I feel like he wants to... I feel like... I don't know. He's done with the workplace affair as well. It's like so weird. But the next step is this page of sore. So there's some type of new communication in about something being let go about a confrontation, someone being very confrontational, secretly 
competing with you. You could have been let go at a job. You could have been let go at a, um, for appointments here. And there's some news here. There's like new development here, new communication. And it's the truth. That's what's going to come out. And this person knows that they can't block the truth. And they're so afraid to face judgment. Because this king of spades was having an affair with, I feel like, with that king of pentacles. She's ruthless. She is mean. Oh, she is hateful. She is a hateful woman. She could be a person of authority, position of authority. She could be in the manager at this job that you're working at. And she's losing a relationship. She has nothing to suppress. She's not happy in her home. She didn't even master her own work. Like, she didn't even become, like, skillful at the job that she was at. And she's, like, in nothing but sorrow and despair about it. Because once this truth comes out about this new communication that's going to be coming in, the justice in reverse, this could be a legal situation. For some of you guys, this could be court. So there's like some new communication that's coming in about this ruthless individual. For some of you guys, she even put herself in a workplace affair so you wouldn't be with that dude. But you don't know about it. It was all in secret. And it's so crazy because the way these two, ma Divine Masculine and not so Divine Masculine, the way they're keeping tabs on you is through children, through a child. Someone younger than you, at least 16, 18, the most. What's going to happen for this King of Spades? This ruthless individual. It's a... Queen of Pentacles. She's going to be so fucking heartbroken. Here you are. I told you, you're a match to that dude. Where is he? But God is letting you know, be aware of this person. Because he was actually very coward. He feels very weepish, sheepish about what he did to you. Look, he's your match. Lovers, look, he's actually your match here. And this person is heartbroken can't get over some type of heartbroken that you're gonna come out as this queen of pentacles and you get to walk away scot-free i hope this is making sense okay so i guess i'll just give me for instance like an example for me so or i'll kind of okay so like today. All right. So I did, I went to my unemployment hearing. Okay. And my past employer, right. She's obviously out. She didn't want me at the job. She didn't want me to have a job at any other places. She doesn't want even want me to have my unemployment. Well, it was really important for me to have a witness there to come and to give new communication about the situation. So they postpone it, right? It's like that. It's like the next step is that there's going to be some type of new information, new like news, different communication that's going to come in about this truth of yours. Okay? Take it how it resonates for your situation. It has to do with something with work though. It has to do with something with your money, your finances. She's going to be very heartbroken because obviously it's like you're still going to be with your finances. You're still going to be having money. You're still this queen of wands. It could be, um, it could just take out resonate. It doesn't even have to be a female. It could be a male. It could be like you could have had a male manager or someone, a male that's like really out. Whoever this person is. Male or female, they are, they don't want you to have money. They don't want you to be successful. They don't want you to even be employed. They don't, they're trying to get you fired at the job that you're in now, or they did get you guys fired or something like that. And there's going to be some type of new communication coming in about that truth, about what happened to you. And there was a king of pentacles that was attached to that unjust, that unfairness that happened to you. And he feels like a coward about it. 
this other thing was going on. You guys got this King of Wands, this fire sign that's dealing with some type of love child, a, a pregnancy, a fake pregnancy, whatever it is. This person is also using a child to keep tabs on you to get. So all has to do with communication with the third house. is all has to do with communication and information. And the outcome of it all is all three of these. King of Spades, King of Wands, Reverse, King of Pentacles. They're all sad. Look at, because look at, Queen of Wands, you guys were a match. King of Pentacles, there it is. I just saw it. You guys are a match. And whoever this King of Spades is to you guys, they're all fucking sad. Broken hearted. Why? Why are they all going to be broken hearted? Because why? Because they know that they can't take a leap of faith or they didn't want you to take it. There it is. They didn't want you to take a leap of faith towards your ten of pentacles. They're trying to block your journey to for your lifetime success. Whatever it is, whatever it is, either this King of Wands wants to be part of it, this King of Pentacles was part of this, uh, attacking your Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is, you have it. You have the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles to the Will of Fortune. Look it. Nine, ten, all your dream, all your money, it's like whatever this is, an inheritance, uh... A, lo a large sum of money, success, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. They can't take it from you. They can't, whatever they did, this is all has to do like what they did already. This is what they did already. The truth is out now. And now the next step is there's going to be some type of new information, new communication about them attacking your 10 of pentacles, nine of pentacles, your will of fortune. They are heartbroken. They wanted you to be so heartbroken so you wouldn't take a leap of faith towards your ten of, ten of Pentacles. They're so unhappy. I just saw the tower. These could have been family members involved. This are just like people that are just unhappy. They're so unhappy. They don't want you to take a journey towards your ten, your divine birthright. What's yours already? What's going to happen for this king of spades? What was that? Eight of pentacles. Oh, that was the eight. Oh, someone's reaping what they sow. That's what this was. Look at eight of pentacles. This person is trying to master something here. They're trying to master to be a narcissist. Trying to master a fight. A thief. Someone's trying to master at being a thief. A liar. Seven of swords. What? This person is a master thief? Look at this. This king of spades, this ruthless, this one is the ruthless of them all. Out of all the kings in your energy is this king of spades. He could be an air sign. He's the, uh, an Aquarius. He's the ruthless of them all. He became a master at lying, a master at stealing, cheating. I don't know what that is. I don't know why those people keep calling me. High priestess, but all because you're a high priestess. Use your intuition when it comes to this. You do. You have some type of spiritual gifts here. That they don't want you winning. Oof. Gemini energy. They want it. They couldn't end you. These people couldn't end you because they... <laughs> They wanted you to lose your spiritual gifts. They wanted you to lose all of it. Your spirituality, your faith, your whatever you believe in. They don't want you to believe in it. They want you to lose it. But they can't. They can't end you. 
I'm ready to get, I don't know who keeps calling. It's like blocked and spams and fucked up over you because they can't sweet talk you anymore. Divine Feminine is turning their back. And guess what? These people can't report you to the police anymore about a side hustle and you're going to be married. You had people that were like reporting you to the police, maybe saying that you were selling drugs. But guess what, Divine Feminine? You're turning your back and all, all this bullshit. All this bullshit, you get to turn your back. And guess what? Someone is fucked up over you because they know that they can't sweet talk you anymore. And that you're going to eventually be in a very happy marriage. Can I? It's, it's not going to be with any of these. Who's the collective going to end up being married to? It's not going to be this King of Spades, the King of Pentacles, or this King of Wands. Who's the collective going to be married to? A star, so a healer, someone that is hopeful, someone that's full of optimistic, healing, the chariot. Oh my goodness. You're going to be in a new romance here in the future that's going to be moving you forward in success, cancer, Aquarius energy. Uh, it's going to be successful. What's this marriage? What's this marriage? You're not going to hit a tower. That's for sure. Someone's plans for you to hit a tower is ruined. And now they're losing all their wish fulfillments. People don't even find these these men desirable anymore. Or they just know that you're like you're not going to be they're not going to be in a wish fulfillment with them anymore. Cuz you're going to be in this what's this marriage? This marriage here. Something someone's making a choice to do what? To message you. Here he is. Chicken, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here he is. A king of cups. He's going to be the winner. This is the one that you're going to be married to. Someone that's sensitive, loving, caring, um, sweet. He's making the choice, the inner choice to message you. And you guys will be in this future romance and it's going to be very successful. There he is. Out of all the kings, you guys got the king of cups and he's going to be the one to marry you. Oh, I love it. Loving, sweet, generous. He could be a counselor or he's just very, he's very empathic. He's very emotionally intelligent. He could be a cancer. Oh, I love that. This is a future. The star talks about future romance, but he's making a decision right now. And he's actually getting the downloads. He's going to be messaging. Oh, there it is. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Oh, this King of Swords was overindulging too much. And, oh, here you are. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at Queen of Cups. Here you are, collective. Oh, all these guys could have been your match. One was in a workplace affair. One's dealing with a pregnancy. And guess what? It doesn't matter. You're going to be with him. Look at the Ace of Cups. A new romance. Oh, I love it. Here in the... Yeah, look at New romance. And whoever this King of Swords was, here he is, finally. He overindulged, but guess what? That contract is broke between you two and the cycle has been cl closed so that you could get a new offer from this king of cups oh my goodness gracious i'll read all these cards and guess what this person feels battle worry they feel like they couldn't survive here but there's their end it's done it's done it's, the day this person knows that they can't survive anything mm, that's sad this ending someone feels like because whatever this contract is the devil in reverse and closing out the cycle so you could get this new offer with this king of cups this person feels like they're not going to be able to survive it but you got nothing but happiness here someone really regrets walking away from you they thought they were going to walk away from you and have new ideas new they were going to feel inspired but they didn't this person thought the grass was greener on the other side and look now they know they they went towards someone like 
they got in a relationship with somebody that wasn't even successful. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. They got with someone that they're not even attracted with, a bully. Someone that is just has this defeated attitude. This person really wishes that you could help them, but you, they're trapped in that two of cups in reverse with someone else. All these men are very awakened that you are going to be with someone better than all of them. That you're going to be in a high level commitment with someone that's very spiritual, someone that's very enlightened, okay? And all these men can have are nothing but the past memories of these women that they were with, this workplace affair, this karmic relationship that's saying that they're pregnant but they're not, and this whoever this king of spades is, he could have been with another... All these men chose liars from their past. Liars that, that have nothing but past, un, they just memories. Just, they have bad memories with, uh, with these individuals, these karmics. From that workplace affair, to the person that's saying that they're pregnant, to whoever that king of space is with. They wish that they could have followed their heart desire, but they didn't. They didn't know how to walk away from leaving you out in the cold, from ghosting you putting you in third parties so that they could plan the future without you because they didn't see you in their future they breadcrumbed you they breadcrumb an empress and now they know they can't manifest you back <laughs> that was dope that was dope. Breadcrumbing an empress. Some of these men just didn't see you in their future. And now they're just all in massive regret. And you got them keeping tabs on you, using children. Like they could some of you guys could even have children with some of these masculines. And they're like, they use those like like say they, they would go and you know you guys have split custody or whatever and then they would go back and say what's your mom doing and they're like oh mom's with so and so and blah 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 and yeah you got other ones that are using like your friends like your children's friends to keep tabs on you communicate it's all about the third house third house communication and then you also have one that it's very strange but this is a person that isn't a workplace affair that used someone younger in that work environment to relay messages at all they're all getting the message they're all getting the information they're all heartbroken that they should have chose you because now you got to turn your back and be the divine feminine that you are oh i love that with the king of cups yep that was dope that was dope, dope, dope. They, it's like so crazy because they all could have been your match. The Queen of Wands, the a Queen of Pentacles, the the Queen of Cups. They all could have been your match, but they didn't want to. Some of them were even high vibrational, but they still didn't see you in their future. And now the cycle is closed. You get a new offer with the King of Cups. So bye bye. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. That was a good one.